Hello students, so today we are going to learn how to determine hybridization in, in organic compounds. So for organic compounds, I can discuss them later in some other video, but today we are going to discuss how to determine hybridization in inorganic compounds. So there can be multiple ways to determine hybridization, but what I find the simplest way is use a simple formula to get the number of hybridized orbitals. So let me write it. So number of hybridized orbitals. And on the basis of number of hybridized orbitals, you can determine what hybridization the central atom will have. So hybridization is always determined on the central atom in the molecule. So if there are only two atoms, then the atom which is having multiple valencies means more than one valency that you will treat as the central atom. So the formula for number of hybridized orbitals is H is equal to half V plus M plus a minus c so what is v here v is number of valence electrons so it is the number of valence electrons means number of electrons present in the outermost cell of the central atom what is m here m is the number of number of monovalence number of monovalents bonded to the central atom and what is the number of monovalents number of monovalents means total number of atoms which are bonded through single bond to the central atom and what is a here a is the total number of anionic charge what is anionic charge anionic charge means total negative charge total count of negative charge and what can we see here so c is here total number of cationic charges okay cationic charge means total positive charge count okay so this is the simple formula we will use and how will you determine the hybridization on the basis of number of H so if you get there can be how many possibilities we can have so H is equal to there can be multiple ways I will discuss so if H is 2 that is the simplest case then the hybridization will be sp hybridization if number of hybridized orbitals is 3 this is for sp2 hybridization so this method i am discussing here that is not applicable for coordination or complex compounds this is for simple inorganic compounds so for three hybridized orbitals you will say the hybridization is sp2 if the number of hybridized orbitals is 4 then the hybridization will be sp3 if the number of hybridized orbitals is 5 then the hybridization will be sp3d and if the number of hybridized orbitals is 6 then you will say the number the hybridization is sp3 d2 so let us see some examples how we come up with these different types of hybridization so let's start let's start with the simplest case with water h2o so you know h2o the central atom you will treat as the oxygen right oxygen has the multiple valency and also the structure if you know of water it is like this so O is the central atom. So let's count the total number of hybridized orbitals here. So half V. V is the number of valence electron. And what is the number of valence electrons in oxygen? That is 6, right? Because electronic configuration of oxygen is 6. Plus total number of monovalents. So here two hydrogens are the monovalents. So I will write 2. Plus there is no negative charge. There is no cationic charge. So those are 0. So 6 plus 2, 8 upon 2. This is 4. And 4 means the hybridization is sp3. So it's easy right okay so now let's see another example ns3 ammonia so in ammonia the central atom will be nitrogen atom so you will write the formula for hybridized orbital count that will be half valence electron for nitrogen will be 5 right because electronic configuration of nitrogen is 2,5 plus number of monovalence here is 3 and plus there is no anionic charge minus no cationic charge so total is 5 plus 3 upon Two, that means 8 upon 2 is 4 and which means the hybridization here will be sp3 okay so that's simple so next we can take example of carbonate ion right co3 minus minus so here what will be the central atom this will be carbon so here the hybridization count number of hybridized orbital count will be half v valence electron of carbon is it is this electronic configuration is 2 comma 4 so it will be 4 plus there is no monovalent because oxygen is divalent atom so it will be number of monovalence is 0 plus a number of ionic charge here is 2 minus cationic charge count is 0 so 4 plus 2 6 upon 2 is 3 and 3 means the hybridization will be sp2 right this one 
okay so this was co3 minus minus now let us see co2 molecule so in co2 carbon will be the uh, in carbon will be the central atom so here total number of hybridized orbitals will be half valence electrons of carbon is 4 plus number of monovalence again is 0 because oxygen is divalent atom plus there is no anionic charge minus no cationic charge so it is 4 upon 2 is 2 which means the hybridization here will be sp similarly you can count a number of hybridized orbitals for pcl5 which is phosphorus pentachloride so let us see what will be number of hybrid hybridized orbital count here so h will be half here the central atom will be phosphorus so total electronic configuration of phosphorus is 2 comma 8 comma 5 in shells we have 2 comma 8 comma 5 so outermost orbit has 5 electrons so total number of valence electrons is 5 plus number of uh, monovalence here is chlorine right chlorine is monovalent so we will write 5 again plus there is no anionic charge minus no cationic charge so it is 5 plus 5 10 upon 2 is 5 and 5 means the hybridization will be sp3d okay and similarly we can take uh, one more example of sf6 sulfur hexafluoride so let us see what will be the total number of hybridized orbital count here so total h will be half valence electron of sulfur will be 6 because its electronic configuration is 2 comma 8 comma 6 plus number of monovalency again 6 because fluorine is also monovalent atom plus there is no anionic charge minus no cationic charge so it is 6 plus 6 12 upon 2 is 6 and for 6 hybridized orbitals the, the hybridization we have that is sp3 d2 so i hope you enjoyed this method this is a very simple method of finding hybridization in inorganic compounds so okay you can try this method to find hybridization in some other uh, inorganic compound also and uh, you can see if you are able to solve questions based on hybridization so i hope you enjoyed this uh, hybridization topic and uh, we will meet again with some new topic new interesting topic till then take care bye bye and thank you very